Hello everybody, this is Ludi Cole 15 and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we began the Jinlander rematches by battling Faulkner, Bugsy, and Whitney. This time we are going to battle the next three or next two, I don't know, depending on how long this these take, but we're gonna do at least two. We're gonna take down Morty first off, and Morty's up next. We're gonna see how we can go from there. We have Godzilla in the front again because, well, Godzilla is good against ghost types and Crunch is gonna do it at best. You know the drill. Other Pokemon who will do well, well, I guess Sunnyside will. But do I want the Choice Specs or Choice Scarf? I don't know. It'll come down to what I want, honestly. And uh, what else do I need to think of before uh, beginning the episode? I don't think I'm needing anything else. All you have to know is that it is now to, it's still Thursday, but now it's evening. So I said I would record later today, and look at that. I am doing it now. With that being said, let's get started against Morty. I was just talking about you. Let's battle. Oh man, you get to fight him on Tuesday nights, so I guess you could say we're having a Tuesday with Morty, or Tuesdays with Morty. Haha. <laughs> Except it doesn't make sense because it's Morty, not Morty in the actual book. I don't know. I read the book. That's all I need you guys need to know. But he's gonna be opening up with Driplum, level 52, ghost flying type. Unburdened for its ability, holding a citrus berry, so once it uses the citrus berry, it will activate Unburdened to where it doubles its speed, if I'm correct. I can't remember, but. It does something once it uses the item. With the moves, Destiny Bond, Substitute, Thunderbolt, and Shadow Ball. So, if you outspeed this thing, you should be good to go. But if you don't, like I, I outspeed it, thankfully, but if you don't outspeed this thing, it can be a big of a threat. However, it has tons of HP, but like no defenses at all. So, once to perfect the move from a strong physical attacker like Godzilla should kill it. And with no master aftermath, we don't have to worry about it much. That's a level up for us over there. And next up, what's up next, Morty? Give me something good. Sableye, level 52, Ghost Dark type, no weaknesses, with Keen Eye for its ability, with Sucker Punch, Brick Break, Ice Punch, and Fake Out. I can already tell he's gonna go for a Fake Out, and then it's gonna use Brick Break, so I think I'm gonna use. I'm trying to think, is Acrobat still play to go? It doesn't really matter, it's Sableye. I mean, it sucks. But then again, it has no weaknesses, so I guess I'll go with his acrobatics. It doesn't really matter. I'm not worried much. No, I did use Brick Break. I was like, are you gonna use Fake Out? Because that's like the smarter move, but I guess not. It's a Sableye, who cares? Though, believe it or not, Morty does not. Oh, well, you'll find out once I get to all of his team members, but like, I do question one little thing, but uh, let's just move on right now. So, I want you to pay attention to his team because, well, it's nothing too spectacular because it is just ghost types and there aren't exactly a ton of fully evolved ghost types in these games, even to Gem 4. But, two of his team members are going to be hard for me to explain when I get to one of them anyway. You'll see why. First off, let's just take down, let's just, let's just take down the Sableye because really, I think the Sableye should be dead right here. Okay, never mind. I'm living this. It's a Sableye for crying out loud. If it had an extra bell, it would make sense, but like, nope, it does not have extra bell, meaning it is nowhere, it's not even gonna come close to living, killing my acrobats here. What do I do here? I'm trying to think, I think I'll use Steelwing here to lower its defenses and then fly again. But I'm losing HP every time I do that. I'll see if I can do Chuck as well. I should be able to do Chuck in this episode, and then maybe Jasmine if I get to her. It really comes, comes down if I can do it or not. I'm not using cross poison. It's not gonna kill. Because it resisted if I'm correct. There's a sucker punch. That's stab, but like, really, it's Sableye. I'm not scared. Sandstorm is a bit annoying, though. That's like, that's like one big complaint I have with Tyranitar, like I said, is Sandstream. It affects your team so badly, and it can easily defeat you. It can be your own weakness as well. But if you can deal with it in a normal single player game, I think Tyranitar is really good. I can barely get any experience off of that. And that's two down, four more to go. Gengar! Now, here's the thing. He has two of these that are the same level. So this is one of either two Gengars. This is either the one with, well, I'll just say right now, this Gengar has level 50, they're both level 57 with Levitate for their abilities, but one of them has, I'm gonna assume it's this one right here. I'm gonna assume this one has Substitute, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Destiny Bond. I say that because it has Thunderbolt, and I can just swap out to Sunnyside and stall out with 
uh, Sunnyside here because the Shadow Ball can't do much to me. All I can do is substitute Destiny Bond and Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt won't be doing much to me. Okay, you're gonna Shadow Ball. That does not make point my case. It can still have one of two. It can still be one of two Gengar. So let's hope it's the right one and go for Shadow Ball. It's the Hypnosis one. Never mind. It's not the other one. This Gengar has the moves Hypnosis, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. I thought for sure it was the Gengar with the. It doesn't matter. That Gengar's down. That Gengar's down. We actually killed it with a Choice Specs Shadow Ball. That should tell you how good Choice Specs is. Especially on Sunny Side, who needs it badly because of its not so slow special attack. Here we have Dust Noir, level 52. Pressure for stability and also Ghost type. I should have mentioned Gengar's Ghost Poison type, but really, we have another one still to go. With the moves Pain Split, Will O Wisp, Substitute, and Payback. Notice that it doesn't even have a Ghost move, but rather a Dark move. This thing is definitely a good uh, physical uh, checker here, but really, I'm not too worried. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Who do I want to send out for this? Because Sunny Side has a horrible choice here because it, it, has a, it does not have a ghost move. So I think swapping Octavio here might make some sense, I guess. I, I don't even know. I'm going to stay in with Octavio. Payback. Keep in mind, this thing is really slow, but it packs a bit of a punch. And that did that much damage. Is it because I went second? I don't even know. I'm going to take the risk and stay in, though. I will say, though, you might want to be careful with some of his Pokemon, because some of his Pokemon have Destiny Bond, like I said, and that is a very annoying move, in my opinion, just because you don't get any experience off of it if they do get to activate it. That's just my opinion, though. And are you going to heal here or not? If so, we get a free kill. If not, then whoop de do. Okay, good. We get a free kill. Man, Sandstrom is so annoying. I wish there was a way where we don't get Sandstrom for an ability. Man, the hidden abilities didn't exist yet, so what do I know? Sorry for a little cutaway, I took a bit of damage and I had to do something quickly. Anyways, here's his Gengar. This is the Gengar with Substitute, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Destiny Bond. Now I want to send out Sunnyside, because this thing can destroy me. And thankfully we don't have to worry about Hypnosis, but we do have to worry about Destiny Bond. And this thing can outspeed me, so... Uh, do I want to play it safe or do I want to go for the risky move and just hope to goodness it well it doesn't matter I'm getting experience no matter what it sounds selfish but I can't really do much oh okay using substitute it's gonna lose a bit of its HP but it will uh, in return but it will this will knock out the substitute because if the previous one got KO'd by a shadow ball they should definitely get rid of the substitute but it's faster though and it's gonna use a destiny bond it could easily use a destiny bond that is and I'm locked in a Shadow Ball now. Do I want to risk that it doesn't use Destiny Bond? Or do I want to risk that it uses Thunderbolt? Or Substitute? Ugh. Okay, he uses Thunderbolt. We're good. Whew. Well, hopefully this kills. I mean, I don't see why it shouldn't. It's a Troy Specs, for crying out loud. And I didn't even get paralyzed. You know, it's so strange. I've used you all this Let's Play. And you haven't even got a chance to activate your Serene Grace often. Or not get to use it often. You get the idea. There goes both of his Gengars. They're pretty scary, but a little ghost type or dark move. Like Godzilla could destroy it easily, but I didn't want to get I didn't want her to get over leveled. And last up is Miss Magius. Level 54. Ghost type. Levitate for its ability, so no ground so don't hit him with ground moves. Like, that's like half of his team though. With the moves, Perish Song, Mean Look, Confusory, and Astonish. Uh why? It's not even a strong move. Anyways, uh, for this, uh, what do I do here? I think it's gonna use Confuse Ray, and then I'm not gonna be worried because I got Shadow Ball. Or, or Parish Song. You're just going out now. Now you're just going out. Really? That's kind of sad. You're just, it's your last Pokemon. You're just gonna go use Parish Song. Sure. It's like, I'm not winning, so I might as well just throw the game. Let him have some experience. Be a nice guy. Thanks, Morty. And now you're loaded with Special Defense, but you're gonna use a, uh, I'm assuming you're gonna use a, a healing item here because that sandstorm is not killing at all. Are you gonna use a healing item? It doesn't really matter because even if you use it here, which you do, I'm gonna kill you now because I got the special defense drop. Way to go, Morty! So now that I've gone over this team, he has two Gengars, but he doesn't even have a Bayonet. 
I get that Shuppet is not easy to obtain this game, but like, they ha other trainers will have Pokemon that you're not supposed to obtain in Heart Gold Silver, so who cares? Why on earth does he have another Gengar but not a Bayonet? I don't know, just have some diversity in your Pokemon, dude. You're a ghost type user. Come on. How is this possible? Get some ton of money for that. I lost again. You have something more than just strength. So I've done. That takes care of Morty. And I'm gonna check how much time we have to see if we can take down Chuck. Well, we will, but like, I don't know if I'll have enough time to take care of another trainer afterwards. Oh, bear back. Alright, it's only been about 10 minutes or so, so we definitely have time to take care of Chuck. But for this team life, we're going to start with Acrobatics and then most likely use Octavio next, because it's Chuck. He has fighting types. I mean, what do you expect? But really, I don't expect Chuck to be that hard. Well, he could be, because he has some actual competitive strategies he will try to use on you. But let's just go what we can do. Let's do this. There you are! Test, taste my 24-hour training. I could say that Chuck is technically a special gym leader where he, he never leaves his gym. He just, you have to get his truck, uh, Chuck's wife's phone number. Yeah, you get the drill. But you can get it anytime. Anyways, Chuck, you can battle him on Wednesday night. So there you go. That's when you can call him anyway. But here we have Chuck. Starts up battle with Metacham. Level 54. Fighting Psychic type. Pure power for its ability. So any physical attack it'll do will be twice the power. And also holding a Citrus Berry with the moves. High Jump Kick, Cycle Cut, Attract, and Thunder Punch. This thing can be a pretty big powerhouse if we don't kill it. But since we're faster, we should be able to kill it with an extra bell fly here. Just saying. And yes, he did breed for a cycle cut, so uh, good, kudos to him. He, this is like an example of what a typical Metacham is, except for Attract. I really don't like Attract. But you know, because it's male, it's going to work out for him. But let's get some more experience. And next up we have Breloom, level 54. Grass Fighting type, Poison Heal for its ability, also holding the Toxic Orb. So, yeah, that's one cool thing he's learning to do. The Toxic Orb, Poison Heal combo with the moves Substitute, Focus Punch, Drain Punch, and Stone Edge. No Grass move, apparently. That's, like, dumb, but Substitute with the uh, Poison Heal, Toxic Orb? Yeah, that's gonna do a lot. We're gonna fly, though. However, if he uses Substitute, there goes our plan. Don't use Substitute. Okay, good. He you scared me. There's the Poison Heal. And the po Toxic Orb, I mean. So yeah, you better believe these guys actually get more serious. And the Stone Edge is a bit scary, but because we're faster and this seems quad weak to flying, I'm not scared anymore. But be prepared, if it use, if you use Substitute, it could have been a threat and use Focus Punch. But, you know, because it got too greedy, and uh, yeah. Next up is Primate, level 56, Fighting Type. Vital Spirit for its ability, so you can't put it to sleep. With the moves, Close Combat, Payback, Thunder Punch, and Swagger. Not really big worried about this primate, but Thunder Punch is a bit of an issue that we can run into. We're just gonna, I'm expecting this to be a acrobatic sweep, if anything. Just saying. Swagger, that's what's gonna do, huh? But it looks like I'm not gonna be missing anytime soon, and I'm not putting you to sleep, so what do, why would I care? This should kill you, because I have the extra belt on. And even if I can't really fight Acrobatics anymore, I can just U-turn to Octavio and then use Psychic. But all of his Pokemon are weak to flying, so really, just a flying type of shape would be able to do it. Him on Lee! Level 55, fighting type for its fighting type, reckless for its ability. Jeez, I almost keep mixing up the terms. But the moves, high jump kick, fake out, blaze kick, and bulk up. Really, I I'm assuming it's gonna go for fake out. Yep, as expected. And Reckless, the only move he benefits from that is High Jump Kick. I mean, it is... Oh! Huh? What? What happened? Did I not get flinched or something? Oh, pff, right. Inner Focus. I can't be flinched. What an idiot. Never mind. I forgot I have Inner Focus. Man, what have I been drinking today? I can't even play the video game anymore. Alright, next up is Polyrath, level 60, his strongest Pokemon, water fighting type. Water absorb for its ability, so don't even bother hitting it with a water move like you're gonna do that anyway. Holding a Citrus Berry with the moves, double team, waterfall, focus punch, and substitute. This same thing gonna apply, substitute focus punch, what it's gonna do with waterfall to pack a punch, and double team if I can't even hit it. I don't know what it's gonna do, but at this point, I'm gonna just go swap to Octavio here, because all this thing can do is just... Not Doom, I don't know, I'm just not worried about Polyrath, to be honest. It's probably gonna use Substitute, and then, like, Focus Punch. 
Oh, no double team. I'm faster though, aren't I? I mean, Polaris is pretty slow, but I'm also slower, kind of. I don't think I can outspeed. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Octavio. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Octavio. Come on. Oh, I'm going straight back to acrobatics. You had one job. Okay, just don't use substitute. Don't use focus punch. Because that could be threatening from a polyrass. Come on, Octavio! Yeah, that's fine. Waterfalls at the least of my concern. Oh, no, no, I can flinch. Crud. Don't flinch now. Okay, that's not doing much. Ah, oh, great. Three double teams, and then... Oh, no, four double teams, and then some flinch if I even get the effect to happen. I'm actually surprised not using Substitute. Octavio! You had one job! Can you do it? It doesn't seem like you want to. I mean, come on, Octavio! Now it's got Substitute! I let this thing set up because of my ego. And now you hit it when it's in Substitute form. Of course! Of course! Why would you hit it any other time? I mean, why? It's using another Substitute! Watch you hit this one again! Ready? You're gonna hit through. Oh, Citrus Berry. Nope. Focus Punch? Yep. Oh, I let this, I let him get through because of my own ego trying to level up Octavio here. And here comes the focus punch. Can I live it? I doubt it. I don't have good defenses and it's a polyrass. Live? Oh no, I'm not, I'm not attacking anymore. You're done, Octavio. You're benched. You're benched. I don't care. I'm swapping to acrobatics again. You know, that guy who quad is fighting even with stab, that's not going to do much. I'm not scared. I let Polyrest set up. I'm really sad when I think about it now. But at the same time, all I could do is waterfall now. Does fighting resist poison? I assume it does. Fighting resist bug, but does it resist poison? I assume, but... It resists everything other than fly, and then fly is like... Oh, of course. You hit it with... Huh? It, all right, it doesn't resist. Good. It does not resist. Good. I don't even know my types anymore. Go ahead and bully me all you want, comment section. The whole two people watching this. Of course, you can hit basically every move in the world, acrobatics. But of course, no, Octavio. No. I think we were, we would have had enough time to defeat Sabri uh, Jasmine. But no, no. Of course not we're gonna u-turn to get out of here or not we're not gonna u-turn at all we're just gonna hit by waterfall and that acrobatics is lost why why did i think it was okay for me to just say hey octavia can do it nope nope absolutely not she cannot do it mary just do the job defeat the the toad you're slower what do i expect from a from a sheep like you mary don't flinch. Oh, you're that person. Land the Thunderbolt. Good. All right. Finally, Dunkle's Polyrath. I made that way too hard. Like, it did not need to be that hard. But I was like, hey, let's give Octavio have some screen time. That will teach her. That will help her out. Nope, nope. Bad idea. No, sir. No, madam. I don't care. And last up is Hitmonchan, level 52. Fighting type, Iron Fist for its ability, so powers of fighting moves, or punching moves. For example, Mock Punch, Swagger, Focus Punch, and Double Team. Okay, no Thunder Punch, so I don't have to worry about that, but I have to worry about Swagger. And considering how slow I am, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, what do I want to do here? Solar hasn't really got a chance to shine much. Let's just let Solar fight. It's not like it's going to... It's not like fighting is his biggest weakness. Swagger? No, nope, Double Team. Hey, it's fine. I'm not worried. Right? Well, I'm faster, good. But at the same time, Hitmon's a pretty good special defense. Will this kill? Ugh. Will this kill? No, it won't! And you got Swagger on now. And then you're gonna Forest Store. Don't act like I don't know. Don't act like I don't know. And it, Or if not, a Mock Punch. One of the two. Oh, yeah, Forest Store. Let's see. Come on, Solar. You got this. Get through. Come on, Solar. I believe in you. I don't believe in you. We're going to play it this way. Of course we are. Mock Punch. No Focus Punch. 
Get through solar! Come on, good! Good! Man, my throat's really hurting me badly because of all this commentary I'm doing. But it's all part of my job. And now you lost your focus. You couldn't move. Don't full restore again. You're just stalling now. I'm faster and you're not going to live anymore. You're just stalling your defeat. Admit it, Chuck. Admit it. We're really spending two, an episode doing just two battles. Chuck? Chuck? Do we really need to talk about this? I mean... I don't have anything better to do. I, I totally do not have any homework to do at all. I don't have like any plans for school later Monday. I don't have anything to do in my life. You just want to use full restore. Alright, you're done. Wait, 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 what? Oh, double team. Crud. Forgot you boosted it up. Come on, Solar. Just one more. One more. Of course, the moment I get hit, of course, I'm the last time I miss, and now I just... Good. Alright, we're done. There we go. Done, finally. Chuck, I made you way too hard. Like, you were so easy. Then I got the polyrath and Octavia couldn't even hurt you. Octavia had one job. Just hit it while it was weak. And no, it just doesn't see everything. We lost. Who's this we stuff? Wahaha, a battle with you is never boring. Sure is, pal. I'm assuming we don't have enough time anymore for the next episode, so I guess this is it for Ludicolf 15, unless... I I'll check my time quickly. If not, I'm just going to end it here, and then we'll start with Jasmine in the next episode. This has been Ludicolf 15. See you guys next time for Pokemon Heart Gold. We're, fin we're doing more Gym Little Rematches, because what else do I do? Later.